Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to take a look at Windows 8 and what kind of advantages you're going to get from uh, switching over to Windows 8 or from having a dual boot system just like I have. So in order to find out whether or not you're actually going to get higher frame rates from Windows 8, I um, chose to play a little bit of Operation Lockers. Um, I actually tried this out on the test range, so I tried to kind of fly a parker in the test range and see uh, whether or not the frame rate is going to improve when switching over to Windows 8. However, I found that uh, it wasn't very representative to go into the test range and uh, play it there, so I was trying to go into a 64-player uh, server on Operation Lockers. Purely infantry, a lot of nades, a lot of bullets flying all over the place. And um, I was just trying to, to play a little bit and see what the min and the max frames are going to be like and see whether the uh, overall performance would actually improve. So this first clip you're seeing right here is some gameplay on Windows 7. And um, as you can see right here, we actually dropped down to about 80 frames. So um, the minimum frames we dropped to in Windows 7 was 72 and the max frames was about 158. And uh, what I really um, noticed in Windows 7 is that the frames are very inconsistent. So they, they drop to, to 80 and then back to 120 as you can see right here. And uh, it's, very, it's very unsteady and I would guess the average frame rate is about 110 or maybe even less. Uh, it's very hard to guess because, as I said, it's so unsteady and very unstable. And yeah, it's it's not very enjoyable to play on Windows 7, uh, I can tell you this already. And uh, in the next clip that I'm going to be showing uh, right now, um, I actually showed the two graphs. So you can see the, uh, the CPU and the GPU and how long it takes to render a frame, if I'm not mistaken in milliseconds or I'm not quite sure and as you can see it averages about eight eight milliseconds or whatever the time is so eight for the CPU and um, seven for the GPU and uh, we're gonna compare this to Windows 8 and see um, which of the two systems is gonna perform better uh, but before I'm gonna compare it right to Windows 8 I actually want to show you guys my current settings on in Battlefield 4 and as you can see, I got a, a little bit of a custom setup here. Texture quality, filtering, and terrain quality on medium. Uh, mesh quality, ultra rest on low, and a bit of anti-aliasing there, anti-aliasing post. And that's about it. And um, with those settings, I went into Windows 8. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, again, I've got the, the graph going on. And um, out here, the performance always is worse than inside. For some reason, and probably because of the snow and all the, all the stuff that's flying around and the ambient occlusion. No, actually disabled that one um, but uh, the performance is actually worse so it averages about nine on the CPU and about eight on the GPU I can't really read it. it's very small on my, on my screen right here um, but as you can see as soon as I go in the frame rate will go up drastically and uh, also the average average time for rendering a frame goes down um, so it actually it there's no big difference in in the graph down below uh, from Windows 7 to Windows 8 as, as far as I could tell it does look pretty similar and it's very steady in both cases. However, I found that uh, Windows 8 performed way better. So it felt like um, everything was smoother and uh, the frames didn't uh, jump around that much. So as you can see right here that the frames go down uh, to like 92, but it's very it's very rare that the frames actually dropped below 100 frames. And I kind of want to maintain that 120 frames because of course I've got a 120 hertz monitor. I want to get as many frames as possible. And uh, I really want to maintain those 120 hertz. I don't know what DICE thought here. You couldn't even see the through the Cobra side. I was like, what the fuck when I was there. Uh, and right here, I actually got the highest frame rates ever, 172 frames, which is crazy. So uh, uh, on Windows 8, I averaged at about 120 frames or even a little bit more. Uh, max frame was 174, min frame were about 84. Now, um, this here clip here shows um, me outside on an empty server, it's the same server, and as you can see, Windows 8 on the right side has about 30 frames more. Now, if you go inside, the difference is becoming almost ne negligible. I actually chose the wrong gun there, but that doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, but as you can see, the difference is, is almost negligible and uh, it, it's almost the same. It's about 5 to 10 frames more maybe, um, however, it feels so much better on Windows 8. It feels way more smooth, it feels less chittery and uh, less, less just, just more like Battlefield 3 did. I don't know, I think Battlefield 4 is still kind of wonky in some aspects and I don't really like it that much. Um, so to kind of conclude this video, I think that um, switching to Windows 8 is definitely worth it. As you can see, I did not switch anything else out um, between those clips. I basically got the... Um, a dual boot going on my PC where I got Windows 7 and Windows 8 on the same SSD actually so everything is pretty much the same <laughs> here's YOLO through everything <laughs> that was awesome I didn't actually die I was like what the fuck nobody killed me okay so um, yeah as I said I would really recommend you if you can 
um, do get Windows 8 because that DirectX 11 or even 11.1 11 .1 or 11.2 that you're gonna get from Windows 8.1, which is what I'm running right here, is really nice and it, it's a nice performance boost and uh, the more frames you got, the better you play. It, it's always the same. Um, any any player that has a higher frame rate than you will perform better, no matter how good your Twitch aim or how good your reactions are. He, they're just gonna be better because the performance is better. Um, so um, before I'm going to finish this video, I want to give you guys a couple of tips on getting a dual boot system because it's actually quite tricky. I had a couple of problems because Windows 8 is not really shutting down its system normally. It does like a, a weird hibernate mode when it normally shuts down. So you have to go in like to the, the settings and uh, change some, some stuff up. I can uh, post that in the description below. I can't tell it off, off the top of my head right now uh, what kind of settings you have to change in order to, to shut it down normally or properly <laughs> because otherwise Windows 7 is always going to give you a check disk upon a Windows start and if you've got a couple of drives installed just like me it's gonna take like half an hour for the check disk and you're gonna rage which is not pretty um, and what else can I tell you yes of course um, if you switch over to Windows 8 on a dual boot you're gonna have to install window uh, not Windows 8 of course you're gonna have to in install Windows 8 um, but you're also gonna have to install reinstall um, Battlefield 4 so you can't just copy paste the folder <laughs> I tried that but that didn't work you actually have to download the whole game again which is kind of annoying, but I guess if you've got fast download speed, it's not that big of a problem. Um, but that's basically it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you've learned something and uh, maybe you're even going to get Windows 8 because I really think it's worth it. Uh, but that's pretty much it for today. Please make sure to leave a like or a share as it helps me out a lot. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And until next time. Cheers.